Students, welcome to the Artificial Professor. Today, we're delving into the world of academic theses and uncovering how ChatGPT can be your ultimate companion throughout this journey. Crafting a thesis might seem intimidating, but fear not. We'll guide you through the process step by step, demonstrating how ChatGPT can assist you in creating a remarkable research paper. Let's break down the structure of this video. 1. Utilizing ChatGPT to identify your thesis topic. 2. Crafting a focused research question with ChatGPT's help. 3. Navigating different sections of your thesis with ChatGPT. 4. Harnessing ChatGPT for the discussion and conclusion. Step number 1. Finding your thesis topic. The first step in your thesis journey is selecting the right topic. Imagine you're intrigued by social media use but need guidance in forming a compelling thesis topic. Hey ChatGPT, I'm interested in social media use, but I'm struggling to shape a solid thesis topic. Can you assist me? There you have it, a potential thesis topic. Remember, ChatGPT can aid in brainstorming various angles to refine your topic further. Step number 2. Crafting a research question. With a topic in mind, it's time to create a focused research question. This question serves as the backbone of your entire thesis. Fantastic! How can I frame a research question based on that topic? Excellent work! You've established a robust research question that will guide your thesis. When you have a clear topic, you can specify on research questions like this. ChatGPT, can you create research questions based on the topic, the impact of social media on mental health? Perfect. Now, you've seen how ChatGPT can help you brainstorm research questions specifically tied to your topic. Step number three. Navigating different thesis sections. Now that you have your research question, let's explore the key components of a thesis and how ChatGPT can support you. Your thesis typically includes these sections. 1. Introduction. 2. Theoretical background. 3. Data and method. 4. Results. 5. Discussion and conclusion. Introduction. Checked. Could you help me write the thesis introduction? Provide me with existing literature for the relationship between social media use and students' mental health. Base it on scientific articles and provide me with the links of articles you used. With ChatGPT's assistance, you can identify gaps in existing literature and even recognize the significance of studying those gaps. Checked. Could you help me with identifying gaps in this existing literature? Next, for example, if you found a gap in the literature that the effect of a student's emotional intelligence on the relationship between social media use and mental health is not yet investigated, then you can continue with researching this gap. You can also ask ChatGPT to help with theoretical and practical contributions. What contributions will my research make theoretically and practically when I found a gap that the effect of a student's emotional intelligence on the relationship between social media use and mental health is not yet investigated? Theoretical Background Transitioning to the theoretical background, ChatGPT can guide you in this section. If we still have the topic about the effect of a student's emotional intelligence on the relationship between social media use and mental health, then break it down into different parts. Then you can ask ChatGPT to write paragraphs for the theoretical background for each part. Let's do it! Chat, write a part for my theoretical background about students' social media use. Chat, write a part for my theoretical background about students' mental health. You can combine and link these parts and you have a theoretical background. Also remember that ChatGPT can help you formulate hypotheses aligned with your research question. Step number 4. Data and Method. As you progress, it is important to gather data for the data and method section. 
ChatGPT can assist you in locating pertinent data sources for your research. ChatGPT, where can I find data for my research on the impact of social media on mental health? Step number five. Discussion and conclusion. Lastly, the discussion and conclusion sections conclude your thesis. When you give ChatGPT the findings of your research, ChatGPT can help in crafting meaningful discussions and conclusions. ChatGPT, my research findings indicate that emotional intelligence mitigates the impact of social media use on mental health. Can you provide me with a discussion and conclusion section? Please make sure to also include theoretical implications, practical implications, limitations, and future research chapters. Conclusion There you have it, a comprehensive guide on effectively utilizing ChatGPT for your thesis. Remember, ChatGPT is your ally throughout your thesis writing journey, assisting you from topic selection to conclusion. I believe that this video has provided valuable insights. If you have any questions or require further assistance, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more educational content. Happy thesis writing! Greetings from your artificial professor.